Hi, this is Lance from Langchain. I'm going to talk about indexing uh, and multi representation indexing in particular for the 12th part of our Rag from Scratch series here. So we previously talked about a few different major areas. We talked about query translation, which takes a question and translates it in some way to optimize for retrieval. We talked about routing, which is the process of taking a question, routing it to the right data source, be it a vector store, GraphDB, uh, SQLDB. We talked about query construction. We dug into uh, basically query construction for vector stores, but of course there's also text to SQL, text to cipher. Um, so now we're going to talk about indexing a bit. In particular, we're going to talk about indexing, indexing techniques for vector stores. Um, and I want to highlight one particular method today called multi-representation indexing. So the high level idea here is derived a bit from a paper called proposition indexing which kind of makes a simple observation. You can think about decoupling raw documents and the units you use for retrieval. So in the typical case, you take a document, you split it up in some way to index it, and then you embed the split directly. Um, this paper talks about actually taking a document, splitting it in some way, but then using an LLM to produce what they call a proposition, which you can think of as like kind of a distillation of that split. So it's kind of like using an LLM to modify that split in some way to distill it or make it like a crisper, uh, like summary, so to speak, that's better optimized for retrieval. So that's kind of one highlight, one piece of intuition. So we've actually taken that idea and we've kind of built on it a bit in kind of a really nice way that I think is very well suited actually for long context LLMs. So the idea is pretty simple. You take a document and you, you actually distill it or create a proposition like they show in the prior paper. I kind of typically think of this as just produce a summary of the document and you embed that summary. So that summary is meant to be optimized for retrieval. So it might contain a bunch of keywords from the document or like the big ideas such that when you embed the summary, you embed a question, you do search, you basically can find that document based upon this highly optimized summary for retrieval. So that's kind of represented here in your vector store. But here's the catch. You independently store the raw document in a doc store. And when you, when you basically retrieve the summary in the vector store, you return the full document for the LLM to perform generation. And this is a nice trick because at generation time, now with long context LLM, for example, the LLM can handle that entire document. You don't need to worry about splitting it or anything. You just simply use the summary to, produce, like, to create a really nice representation for fishing out that full doc, use that full doc in generation. There might be a lot of reasons you wanna do that. You wanna make sure the LLM has the full context to actually answer the question. So that's the big idea. It's a nice trick. And let's walk through some code here. So we have a notebook all set up. Uh, just like before, we've done some pip installs, um, set some API keys here for Langsmith. Um, kind of here's a diagram. Now let me show an example. Let's just load two different uh, blog posts. Uh, one is about agents, one is about uh, you know human data quality. Um, and what we're gonna do is, let's create a summary of each of those. So this is kind of the first step of that process where we're going from like the raw documents to summaries. Let's just have a look and make sure those ran. So, okay, cool. So the first doc discusses, you know, building autonomous agents. The second doc contains the importance of high quality human data and training. Okay, so that's pretty nice. We have our summaries. Now we're gonna go through a process that's pretty simple. <clears throat> first, we define a vector store that's gonna index those summaries. Then we're gonna define what we call like our, our document storage. You're gonna store the full documents, okay? So this multi-vector retriever kind of just pulls those two things together. We basically add our doc store. We add this byte store is basically the, the, the full document store. Uh, the vector store is our vector store. Um, and now this ID is what we're gonna use to reference between the chunks or the summaries and the full documents. That's really it. So now for every document, we'll define a new doc ID. Um, and then we're basically gonna like take our summary documents um, and we're gonna extract um, for each of our summaries, we're gonna get the associated doc ID. So there we go. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. So we have our summary docs, which we add to the vector store. We have our full documents, 
uh, our doc IDs and the full raw documents, which are added to our doc store. And then let's just do a query a vector store, like a similarity search on our vector store. So memory and agents, and we can see, okay. So we can extract, you know, from the summaries, we can get, for example, the summary that pertains to um, agents. So that's a good thing. Now let's go ahead and run a query, get relevant documents on our retriever, which basically combines the summaries, uh, which we use for retrieval, then the doc store, which we use to get the full doc back. So we're going to apply our query. We're going to basically run this. And here's the key point. We've gotten back the entire article. Um, and we can actually, if you want to look at the whole thing, we can just go ahead and do this. Here we go. So this is the entire article that we get back from that search. So it's a pretty nice trick. Again, we query with just memory and agents. Um, and we can kind of go back to our diagram here. We query for memory and agents. It searched our summaries. It found the summary related to memory and agents. It uses that doc ID to reference between the vector store and the doc store. It fishes out the right full doc, returns us the full document, in this case, the full web page. That's really it. Simple idea, nice way to go from basically like nice, simple proposition style or summary style indexing to full document retrieval, which is very useful, especially with long context LLMs. Thank you.